Why, hello. Welcome to Gilroy Vlogs. This is Gilroy Vlogs. <laughs> How you guys doing? I hope your Monday is fantastic and productive. You should always start the work week out strong. Super strong. Strong like Eliza eating all her food real quick and sitting there wondering for more. Say it. Say more. Hello. Say wow. Uh, don't spit out cheese. All right, so um, I'm getting ready to head to my mom's house because she texts me and says, your grandpa needs help with the water heater and your dad has to go to the hospital. Not for anything, you know, for work. I'm gonna go help my grandpa. I'll be back. Okay, we'll be here. Hey, I just wanna say, you look fantastic right now. Thanks. So those of you who watch the vlogs all the time, you know that I'm a very, very big fan of The Walking Dead. And last night was the season six finale in which they introduced the infamous Negan. Negan is this character that is supposed to like completely change the story of The Walking Dead and I have to say he did just that last night. Rick and a bunch of people they went out to try and get to the hilltop so that Maggie could get um, you know medical attention. Along the way they keep encountering groups and groups of the saviors incrementally getting bigger and bigger each each turn they take and uh, eventually they find themselves in the middle of the largest group of saviors that they have ever seen before. There, they introduce Negan. When Negan comes out of that RV, it's almost like the entire crew, if you've watched through this whole, this whole episode, this whole series really, just completely get trumped down. It was like, it's incredible to see. And <laughs> the Walking Dead's what I would consider the biggest cliffhanger in TV history happened last night. So if you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. Um, and I'm not like endorsing The Walking Dead. I'm just a super, super huge fan. Love the the love the entire series. I've watched it from the beginning. So I was just, I'm still like I feel like I'm invested. Like I feel like I'm emotionally invested in in this cast, this group of people. And uh, it's just really weird to see that turn. And now we have to wait till October to find out like what happened. It's insane. Oh. We're at the hardware store. He hit me up first thing I get there. He's like, yo, let's go to the hardware. <laughs> I just saw those trash cans. And that reminds me of, well, a little something I'm working on. I need to get me one of those. Wait till you see this. <laughs> I met up with Seth the other day at Scotty's and we're working on something really, really cool. Really cool. I didn't know they had hot water tanks to go borrow here. It seems like a damn thing. Look. Well, that one's $409. You could have saved 60 bucks. Mine was $406. You first put your tax on it and then you Oh, yeah, yeah. So we get back to the house. As soon as he walks in, he goes, dang, I needed three elbows. He only got two, like 90 degree copper elbows. So I just had to run back up to the hardware. And they have like a $5 minimum. It was only like a couple bucks. So I had to get that. Oh yeah, just you wait. Why you gotta sand it? Why are you sanding the edges? clean. Is that so it sticks better with solder or whatever? Grease and everything else off of it. Get the grease off? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and get you guys a tutorial on like putting together these copper pipes and stuff for these water heaters. But Grandpa moves fast so you can't stop him. He just goes and goes. Yola, don't you make me come up there. Get up here. What are you gonna do? Look at me. I'm gonna smack you. Good. I'm looking at you. Just look at it. Oh, oh, is that, is that what you, is that really what's going on? Do it again. Oh, okay. I knew you'd change your tune. <laughs> she keeps yelling down here, Chet, can I flush the toilet yet? And we're like, no, you can't, you cannot. What are you putting on it? What is that? Uh, uh, uh. That's it, bitch. 
I'm gonna find the lid. I'll find the lid. We'll figure this out. Whatever the heck that is. Let's see. Soldering flux. Soldering flux. And now he's putting on the Teflon tape so that the uh, threads don't leak the water on that stud back there. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Grandpa's broke out hey, the big torch. Oh, right oh god, oh my god, oh here we go. <laughs> You've got to hang out with the elders, you know why? Because they have a lot, a lot of knowledge that you need to absorb while they're still around, you know? And it's, uh, it's nice to be able to, I can't really do anything, but I can be here for moral support and hey, go get that. Make sure he doesn't fall over. But uh, it's cool to learn, you know, how to do this stuff. <coughs> okay, it's the moment of truth. Well, this guy's open. Hey, it was very rough. Oh. Now we gotta wait till this, what, 55 gallons? 55 gallons fills up to see if these solder points have sealed properly. What the hell does the pipe look like? Probably the same way. Look guys, so we got you know, the gas line hooked your father, up. Your father's been saying to me. She's lit. My water pressure's way the hell down. My dad? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And it's probably his, di his pressure tank. Maybe the goddamn pipe full of sand. Could be. Could be, Grandpa. Did I scare you? <laughs> Every time that noise goes, somebody's at one of the doors. So I'm running one door to the other. I heard you. And there's nobody there. <laughs> well, as soon as you closed that door and went to that door, I snuck in and came <laughs> over here. <laughs> and hit. And then I started moving chairs on you. You're probably like, what the heck? You little shit. <laughs> I just wanted to come up and tell you bye because I uh -huh. gotta go. Uh -huh. I gotta go home. Okay. But I had to play a little joke on you first. Of course you did. You <laughs> give your honey a hug and a kiss. I will. I me. will. We finished the job in the shop, but there's something going on here at my mom's house that I didn't really tell you guys about. I just became aware of it the other day. My parents texted me. It was like, we're going to the vet. And then they send me this horrific picture of their poor cat who got outside and I have to warn you this is kind of gross looking so <laughs> you might want to cover your eyes in three <laughs> two one so this is buddy just and, flapping and hanging and he this got piece totally like mauled. hanging oh this gosh. was all meat hanging out and that poor guy man yeah they think that he was cut on something like a fence Something real sharp. Poor cat, man. But seriously though, Mom. What? Mom, I had to come in and say bye to you before I left, but it looks like you're really, really busy with all that paperwork. Wow. So, uh, wow. I love you. Love you. I'm going to eat. Give the kids a hug and a kiss. Okay. Bye-bye. I want pictures. I don't have any. I'm a lot of Okay, I will. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye now. I just came here for dinner, and all these ladies are sitting around here like... We're eating dog bones. I don't eat dog bones, Mama. Mama, that's all Mama can Mama, how are you feeling? You were sick. i eating dog bones. Well, that's probably why you didn't feel good. She's on strike. You on strike? Yeah, she didn't get dressed. You didn't want to get dressed? She didn't take a bath. 
Hey, I don't blame you. I've sat in this chair all day. You look comfy. Most, <laughs> most of the day, I've sat in this chair. I want a day like that. Mmm. That was good. That was good chilling. You know what home. Amber puts in here? Amber, tell them what you put in here. Sugar. You put sugar in your chili. Yep, tomato juice, diced tomatoes, kidney beans, hamburger, and tomato juice. Did I say that? And sugar. Yep, and sugar. Have you guys ever had sugar in chili? They made sugar with chili? Chili with sugar in it? It's good. Bye, Mama. Good to see you. Amber, thanks for the chili. There. Yeah, you can come over if you want, anytime. Um, anytime you want, you can come over. What? We can come back here anytime? Sweet, I'll be back at like 12 o'clock. Uh, look at what time it is. It's so totally bedtime for the kids and I haven't even been home that long. You know what happened? I go over to my grandpa's and I'm going to help him do like what should be an hour job, maybe. My dad had already helped him get some progress done. But like, you know, grandpa, he likes to talk. And we talked about stuff. So it took like three hours. <laughs> so needless to say, it's time for these boys to go to bed. Carson, how was your, how was your first day back at school? Good. Yeah? Your first day back from school, was it awesome? Or were you missing spring break already? Missing spring break. Almost there was more spring break. <laughs> summer break's gonna be easy. Yeah, don't worry, summer break's on the way, bud. It's yeah. eight weeks. That's all right. Eight weeks is actually not that long. Huh, Echo? Right? Can you wait eight weeks? Can you? <laughs> she can't even wait eight seconds. All right, so I made my way down to meet up with Amber, and we're going over to her new place to clean up. But first, I got these old... Um, white t-shirts and we're gonna use them as rags ready <laughs> i can't do it here madison hold this <laughs> come on pull it <laughs> it's just getting the back We're not strong. <laughs> okay, we got our rags. We're ready to go clean. It's very empty right now. Not the greatest. But it's a starter. We just gotta start wiping stuff down, and this is just her starter place for now until we get her, you know, somewhere else. Are this back? is nice. Check this out. A little curtain over the. It's a, it's a, it's a paper, paper towel. towel. Look, this is bounty. All right, we got to get cleaning. We got some gloves. This is what Chase cleans our shower with. We have wa well water. And sometimes it turns the shower like an orange rust color, which Amber also has well water. So we're gonna see this stuff work magic. <gasps> I just started recording. You just started recording? I didn't know that it did. <laughs> We're working on the shower here. The well water has turned it orange, but this handy dandy stuff, you just wet down the walls, sprinkle it on there. It'll create like a paste in the bottom and then you just scrub it off and it comes off. How's your shower look now? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> look guys, look at that. Look, it's normal color. Like it's not. Except for the little spot right except there. Except for the soak. little spot right there from where the stupid water continues to run, which the landlord is fixing. Um, but we just made an extra thick paste and put on there to let it, let it soak. So, but yeah. If anyone has hard water problems and hard water staining anything in their house, this stuff. Right here. It's getting late, but we still have a bunch of stuff to do. So that's where we're gonna end it for tonight. We're gonna leave you guys right here. And we'll just see all of you right back here tomorrow.